Breaking news, a few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space, with first contact made in the nation's capital. Our reporter Stella is live in Wellington. What can you tell us, Stella? Thank you, I'm Stella, reporting live from Lambton Key. As you can see, there is panic and terror in the streets, as New Zealanders have woken up to find aliens throughout our towns and cities. These space invaders seem capable of destroying the country and the planet, unless we give them what they want. The risk of harm to the public is very real and... Stella? Are you there, Stella? We appear to have lost our signal. Now, in a bizarre exclusive, an alien has taken one of our reporters into their space vessel to broadcast their demands. Standing by is Pareha. What's happening there? Well, yes, it's very tense. What I can tell you is that these alien creatures smell really awful, like a mixture of Donald Trump's left tongue and Joe Biden's nose hair. It looks like one of the aliens is about to address us the special translation device. Rawr. People of Earth, listen carefully. We are the superior beings of planet Alpha from the galaxy of Preppy Clocklips. We demand from you humans the following things in no particular order. We want your children. We want lots of money. We want the bloodline of Ed Sheeran. If you do not give us these things as soon as possible, we will destroy you with our aura. You have three days. Well, there you have it. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end of the human race? Make your voice heard on Twitter using the hashtag OMGAliens. Currently, the government is preparing to make a statement. So we now cross to our parliamentary reporter, Christian. Thanks, Paige. Crowds have gathered. Many people are still on their way to work. Some people are quite unaware. Aliens have invaded people. Wake up. Be afraid. Here comes the Prime Minister to address the nation. People of New Zealand, this is your Prime Minister asking, speaking, asking each other, each one of you to remain calm. It is important that we do our best to make these space aliens feel welcome. We must display all the friendly qualities that define us as New Zealanders. We will be holding a porphyry later today, then I will join the alien leaders on a helicopter tour of our beautiful country. H our hope is that these beings will spare us from destruction and will move on to Australia. In the meantime, go about your business as usual. That is all. Thank you. Thanks, Prime Minister. Now where to from here? To help us answer this question, we've collected a panel of alien experts to discuss what you at home can do to get through this event. Can you hear me? What should we all do? Well, I think we should be that first we should be doing is what doing just dance while well, listen to fans and I some day when I'm older. Obviously that's completely foolish because what we should be doing is skibbity sigma dance moves. <laughs> you two dim witted idiots are both wrong. What we should be doing is eating McDonald's. What do I do? Skibbity sigma dance. Well, so much for the opinions of the experts. Are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at the mayhem happening up and down the country. Thanks, Paige. Let's have a look at what's happening out there. In Auckland, there's outrage as the aliens try to knock over the Sky Tower and use it as a space antenna for their ships. Keep away from the downtown area. Well, in Wellington, the railway station has become an alien transit lounge where they are relaxing in preparation for killing us all. Meanwhile, confusion in Canterbury, where aliens have formed a very strange partnership with the region's cow community. In Dunedin, creatures have been spotted rolling down the world's steepest street. The aliens are said to be extremely dizzy and should not be approached. Well, I'm going to hide in my basement now. Back to you, Paige and Lawrence. Finally, we interview someone who claims they've had a close call with creatures from outer space. Our reporter Ashton is live with that person now. I'm here with Miley who says they're once abducted by aliens. Hello and thank you for joining us today. This alien invasion must stir up some painful memories for you. What exactly are creatures from outer space really like? 
massive socks and they have because they have massive feet i feel like all we got to do is run away from them because they're so massive how has this experience affected you um i feel like i got covid 51 and as you can see they just stole my hair <laughs> they just stole my hair like that <laughs> well marley thank you oh, finally marley as a personal <laughs> I think we should all just eat heaps of food until we all die. Well, Marley, thank you very much for your time. Back to the studio. Thanks, Ashton. Well, I'm going to run home to my mummy. And I'm going to eat as many lollies as I can until I'm sick or the aliens get me. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates and follow our live stream and watch the end of humanity as it happens. Goodbye, everybody. May these terrifying and foul-smelling aliens have mercy on us. Kia kaha, and we'll see you tomorrow, if there is one. <laughs> <laughs>